today is the 5th of January 2019. Today is the 5th of January 2020. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to, to 2020. 2020. We're here today because we want to finish the video that we started exactly one year ago because at that time we watched a video of Vanity Fair with Billie Eilish where they did the same interview with her two years in a row. We thought it was super cool, it blew our minds and we really 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 wanted to do our own little version. The YouTuber version. Yes. <laughs> now there are two reasons why we wanted to make this video. The first reason is you guys because we wanted to give you an insight into the process. And the second one is for ourselves because sometimes we can feel stuck and we don't really realize how much progress we have made. So if we look at ourselves from one year ago, we can really put things into perspective. So we hope you like this video, it's special for us. And yeah, welcome, new year. <laughs> Here it is. Let me check. Let me check. 17.5 thousand. 44,400. 18,700. 48,100. Dang, pretty good. Good for you. Follow me, guys. <laughs> Today we have 141,736 subscribers. We have 390,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, and I also have my own channel. And in my own channel, I have 28,000 subscribers right now. Yes, not really. So I don't think I have many YouTuber friends. I think I know more people on YouTube now. We made one collaboration, the first collaboration ever on our channel with Josephine Witt. And um, I have contact with more YouTubers than before. The guys from Vagaboom. Vero Vero TV. Super holy every now and then. Oh, Feather in the Wind. And I text sometimes with Katia and Nabil. Yeah, so that's about it. I know Casas Kind. I know Yuri Monroe. Mm -hmm. Totally forgot about them. <laughs> You're the worst friend ever. Los LeBlanc followed us. <laughs> <laughs> Los LeBlanc followed us. I'm not sure if he's still following us. <laughs> the biggest one was in... Monterrey in Mexico. How many people? Between 15 and 20. I think the biggest meet and greet was in April last year in Mexico City. I think it was around 40 people maybe. We don't do many meet and greets. We usually let them know one day before or even the same day. So it doesn't get crowded and unsafe. Just makes me happy. See your smile. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you, Yannick. Uh. Hidden Mousse Chocolat. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden Mousse Chocolat. Hidden Mousse Chocolat and hugging you. What also makes me happy is that I have a job where I have the freedom of creativity. I'm my own boss and I can create my own things. It makes me happy to try new things that I would normally be scared to do. Yannick Huber, he's always my boyfriend. You don't have to ask anymore. Mr. Janik Ruel is still my boyfriend. My girlfriend is Jocelyn. And I don't think it's gonna change. Jocelyn! <laughs> Jocelyn is my girlfriend okay. still. Or maybe my husband one oh. day. No, he's not my husband. He's my boyfriend. Sadly. <laughs> you follow your heart, that's it. Janik follows his heart. He doesn't realize how good he is at literally everything. Dude, it's the opposite now. He doesn't realize how good he is and like Yannick believes in himself. The person that makes me happy. Okay. The one. Oh! Joss is a super talented, loving, fluffy. I also thought about fluffy, dude. Why fluffy? You're a fluffy person, dude. How? What? I don't know. You just like a fluffy ball. Happy ball of energy. Ball of energy. I also said ball. You're a fluffy ball. On the phone, once or twice a week. Two or three times a week, I would say. But most of the times we're Skyping. What, WhatsApp Skyping. I don't know how you call it. Like once a week, I would say. Not that often. I'm very bad at keeping in touch. Every single day. Because I live with them right now. Munich. Close to Munich. In a village. Super boring. <laughs> That's an interesting question because right now we're basically homeless. We moved out of Munich and from then on we were just switching between Hamburg and San Luis Potosí. We haven't found a place where both of us are inspired and comfortable yet. 
So that's still coming and it's interesting. <laughs> I would love to visit Singapore because it looks super cool. A Singapore. Singapore! <laughs> Didn't change. And we still haven't made it there. Yeah, no. Uh, right now? Wait, <laughs> so confused. Oh yeah, China. Still. China? Still. You said still? You said the exact same thing. Okay. What the hell? Well, number wise, it's probably that one video that hit 1 million views. We had one video with over 2 million views. I uh, got the opportunity to go to New York to do an internship at the UN. I finished my master's. That was pretty big because I finished my master's and I got the highest score I could have gotten for my thesis. Maybe Casey Neistat? Mr. Yannick Ruel. I have so much admiration for him. I wanna cry again. No, okay. Cry. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I would also say Shane Dawson. Another YouTuber that inspires me a lot. First, Shane Dawson. He has always inspired me since forever. Second, Mr. Beast. I really like that he wants to help people. Like, I hope one day we are able to do the same. Well, the last few days I was watching that was epic the whole day. <laughs> Where he's just trying to pick up girls in the street. <laughs> Okay, no, but for real. I would say, <clears throat> Casey Neistat, he gives life advice. That's cool. I also want to give life advice in our videos. Probably Elle Mills. She's still inspiring because her storytelling is on point. I actually am not looking to do any collabs. We are on our lane and as long as we're together, we can, we, we've come this far alone. I would say Alan por el mundo. Oh, Alan por el mundo, I said. Yeah, would be fun. Creative, effort, chemistry. Nobody really knows. <laughs> Nobody really knows, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good answer. A beautiful mess. I love it! I, <laughs> I love it! It's a beautiful mess. <laughs> the one in Italy where I surprised you with a date, or the one in London? The one that we recorded in London. Because somehow I love this video so much. Other than that, it would be the one in Paris. Uh, the dream date. Surprise in Venice. Wow, that's very difficult. I think my favorite is uh, our first kiss and the hate comments. But one of my favorites too is the Paris one. For that, you should watch our last video where we talked about how to make a travel video. Just do it. <laughs> Don't overthink it. <laughs> Great advice, just do it. It's all about the title. <laughs> it's all about the title. True, title and thumbnail, the most important thing. Figuring out what what people want to do and then how to make it your own. How to make it interesting for you to make. I have no clue what I'm saying. <laughs> I cannot get it though, wait. Yeah, because back then we were making some videos that we were not that interested about making. And then we said, okay, we're gonna make the video that we don't feel like making, but we're gonna twist it and do it with Joss and Yannick style. It's a lot of work. Most people don't realize how much work it is, but it gives you the opportunity to be creative like in barely any other jobs. Well, first of all, I feel super lucky because it gave me the opportunity to be with the love of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but on the other side, and sadly, it's unfair. I've always known how, what am I supposed to do to be successful in something? Mm -hmm. And with YouTube, it's not all about talent, work. No. Or how much effort you put into things. I feel like it's just, a matter of being lucky and if the algorithm decides to push one of your videos out of nowhere. I feel the exact same way right now. That hasn't changed at all. No, not at all. One month we can earn a lot of money, the next month we earn like nothing. It's not really stable. There's still like ups and downs like always, but it's definitely better and it has been enough to survive. Not to save, but to survive. Yeah, pretty much constantly. Yes. All the time. Yes, an uh, insane amount. Yes, I do. Um, but it's different. It's less pressure than last year. Because I have a, to finish my thesis and do YouTube at the same time. I'm trying to keep my dream alive. So it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot. I want to give myself a hug from one year. <laughs> Are you going to cry again? It is worth it because we get to impact a lot of people and we get a lot of feedback and it makes us really, really happy and it has brought us together a lot. But I think financially it's not worth it right now for us. Yes, yes, doing YouTube is worth it. I, 
right now. If the rules change, maybe not. It fulfills my heart, but financially it doesn't completely fulfill me right now. This year we earned more money, probably three times as much as last year. The thing is we're earning the money for two people. For one person it would totally be enough. If we would live in Germany, it's like in the lower end. I don't think I have regrets because I think I'm where I'm supposed to be. Not to be less of a perfectionist. I was always playing the safe side. I regret playing, playing it always safe. Allowing myself to... Think that you're not good enough. Think that I was not good enough. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! I know exactly how she feels because I was her. I'm not there anymore. I'm happy to say I'm good enough and I know it. If you feel like you're on the wrong path, don't be scared to get out of it and find your new path. Word. Oh <laughs> don't waste your time in a job that you hate. In the last year I've learned that you're just gonna have ups and downs in life. We can see this with us being YouTubers all the time. The biggest thing I've learned is that I can do anything I want if I have the drive to try it and go for it. First of all, our schedule is so bad that I can never really chill. <laughs> our schedule is still super crazy bad. Even when we're not working, we're still working in our minds. It's just a big difference to have a normal 9 to 5 job where you just go home and you can stop thinking about it because it's not your own company. And I'm a perfectionist, so I'm taking way too long with every little thing. Yeah. Save. <laughs> Save! Nothing has changed. Man, okay. I have to change my life. Even if it didn't work out, it's great that you did it. You learned so much and you're never gonna forget this. Yannick, you're on the right path. Good things are waiting for you. But also chill a little bit in between because work is not everything in life. Remember that you are good enough for anything that you want to do. Aww, mm, good. that's nice. I am good enough, yes, queen. <laughs> right now, you know, I'm in a good space where I know what I want and I'm like being selfish about it, you know? I'm like going for my dreams. So I hope one year from now, I still have this in my mind and I don't get freaked out or something. That I'm not gonna finish my masters on time and that I have to stay longer in Germany and then I won't be able to afford it and then it's hell. That was very scary, dude. I remember. And I actually had to stay longer. We're starting some projects this year and I am worried that we may not have all the knowledge that we need to do it or that we may not have enough time to do them. That we're not gonna be able to keep going with YouTube because we're not earning enough. The biggest worry right now is to figure out where we want to live because it's such a difficult question to answer. And I don't know how to get the right answer to that. Just go for it. Keep fighting for your dreams and don't let anybody talk you out of it. Your dreams might be just one Google search away. Okay. Sounds weird, but it makes sense. Think about it. <laughs> Everything seems impossible until somebody does it. Yes, preach. Oh no, it's very true. <laughs> and now for the last question, we're back together. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell the things that I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna go to the gym pretty often. I'm gonna get a hot ass body. Not that mine is not hot already. I'm going to learn a new language or maybe go back into Chinese and I'm gonna make a full video in Chinese this year. <laughs> yes, I said it. Or in Italian. And I want to, I want to become a speaker. I'm super passionate about public speaking. And this year, that's it. <laughs> okay. In summer, I'm gonna have a super muscled body. In summer already? Okay, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> we need to have a better schedule. I need to be less of a perfectionist because it's super annoying. And I want us to make videos in advance so in between we can just take a week off without working because in the last two years we basically had one or two weeks of vacation. I want to figure out where we want to live and in that house or apartment or whatever we're gonna get. Hopefully a house. Hopefully a house. With a with, garden. With a pool. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we're gonna earn enough money to be stable. I also want my channel to reach... 50,000. 50,000. And right now, you that are watching this video, you're gonna go there and you're gonna subscribe because you wanna help me out. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. And to you out there, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, believe in yourself, Fight for your dreams, they're gonna be ups and downs, and just keep pushing through it. Yes, 
We hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I will see you next week. Adios, muchachos. Cheers.